What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Crossroads Rebuild. In today's episode, I'm excited to get the interceptor into the shop and start prepping it for framework. Gonna go ahead and get the um, busted up fender off, the old door off, um, start prepping to get the engine out of there and all that. Not sure that I'll get to all of that today, but we're gonna try to get it in. It's gonna be some work just to get the interceptor in there because of course I can't drive it. Now, before I can do any of that, I've got to get the Mercedes out of the shop, and then I brought a trailer full of parts that are going on the Interceptor. So first, I'm going to go ahead and get the Mercedes out, then we're going to unload the parts from the trailer, and then we're going to work on trying to get the Interceptor into the shop. It usually helps if you remove <laughs> the shelves first. Hammer in the book, we're moving it. You have the other camera rolling yeah so we're gonna have her stop recording so she can be some extra horsepower that camera's still going let's go are you calling me a horse <laughs> no i'm not calling you a horse Jerk. Put the camera down. <laughs> got the interceptor into the shop that was no small feat but thanks to my wife Erica who's behind the camera and uh, buddy Chuck uh, helped get it in here and we've got it ready to go so it is time to start preparing this thing um, for framework and uh, obviously there's a lot of things that have to be done to get it ready for framework need to remove my redneck bumper pool noodle uh, and then we'll get into some actual work I'm gonna head and pull off that bum fender Get that out of there. I don't expect that to take too long. Uh, we'll get that as well as the uh, inner fender wheel, uh, uh, wheel well liner off of there. I may have to lift it up and get that wheel out of the way to do that. Uh, we'll get that off and then uh, probably start working on figuring out what we've got going on in here in the engine bay um, and figuring out what I'm going to have to work on. Probably going to have to go ahead and pull this cowl off because it's in the way because that whole engine is going to have to come out of here. Um, but uh, start working on getting the wiring harness out of the way. Um, and I might even take that door off uh, because it's going to have to come off as well. I've got a replacement door. I'm not sure if I'm going to take it off or not. I might leave it on there until it gets to the body shop. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start figuring out what I've got to work with. Probably go ahead and lift it up. 
get that wheel off so I can take the, the liner off, get the fender off, then we'll start concentrating here uh, in the engine compartment. Let's get started. Actually, gonna be possibly one of the easiest ones I've ever removed. You say that now. Uh, everything's held on with plastic Phillips heads, so I mean, theoretically, <laughs> let's see. That dude's pretty broken, so I guess I'm looking for one of those. Actually, looks like this is broken too, so bummer. But well. Fender's not attached on top anymore. It's not attached here in the front. And so I can see one that's attached from inside the fender to a, a piece right in here. So I'm gonna attach that and see if that's the last thing holding it. Might be something inside the door jam there too. So we'll take a look. See anything in there? Okay, give me the camera. We got one hiding right there. So I'm gonna have to get a little wrench and see if I can get that off. Hopefully that's the last one. There we go. Some gummy stuff on it. Put that right there for now. And we'll see if this thing comes off here. Still fooling with this. There's not a ton of information on YouTube about removing the fenders on these things. I don't know if it's too new or something, but did find two more bolts down low. That's a little bit bent there, but that's okay. I think we can work with that. I don't think that's the only thing holding that on there. And then there's this gooey stuff all inside there as well. That I mean, it, it's possible that that's the only thing still holding that on. I don't know. So I'm gonna remove these two bolts. I keep trying. <laughs> I just don't want to bend this. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Hey, 
you what we're going to do. I've got our replacement fender for the other side on in a box over there. Going to open it up. No, got a replacement fender for this over there. We're going to open it up and see what's attached. See what I have to actually pull off in here. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. Well, our replacement fender is under all this, so I guess I'll show this to you as well. This is a replacement subframe on our Explorer. It's a little bit tweaked right up here in this corner. So um, just to be on the safe side, since this is probably a little bit twisted on ours, got a replacement. And then underneath that is our replacement door. Show that to you another time. Try to move it without damaging it. And then there's our fender. There's the fender. Let's bring it over here where we can see a little bit better. Of course I left my knife. All right, I don't want to take this all the way out, so come on over here with that, Eric, okay? All right, as you can see, this is the panel that I've been fooling with, and it's got that foamy stuff here as well. So, it doesn't look like anything's holding that onto my, onto my car anymore, on, the, on our interceptor, other than that foam. Because that hole and that hole are not actually mounted to anything on uh, on our car. So, all right, I'm gonna leave this in here and uh, give this another try. Hmm. See, I was just afraid to do that before. But that's all there really was to it. Are you recording? Yeah. That's all there was to it. So, cool, fender's finally off. Since nobody else seems to have been putting this on eBay, on eBay, on uh, YouTube, uh, just so you know, there is a bolt here, kind of by the hood hinge, the bolt here inside the door, which when the fender's on, you actually have to access from inside the door. And then there's one right here, which you get into from inside the fender well. And then there's two more down there. That's actually bent, so that would be flat. Um, and then there's a few along the front, but those are obvious. So there we go. Got it off. All right, now that we have the fender off, we can see inside here a little bit better. You can see that this top rail is a little bit kinked right there as well. So that's more framework that um, a buddy with the frame shop will have to do. I'm sure that's no big deal for him. But uh, it doesn't look like, it does look like it might have buckled a little bit right here as well. I'm not sure how much of that's normal. Uh, but it does look like back here is just fine. So there we go. All right, on to move. All right, time to move on to the next thing. All right, I think it's time to take this hood off of here. I've been using my redneck hood prop. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the car and we're gonna take a look at what it's gonna take to get the hood off of here. Get to use our hood prop one more time. Well, it's really just two bolts on either side, or I guess it's really nuts. One of them's already removed, so I guess we'll go ahead and get, uh, I think this is the washer hose out of the way, and uh, go ahead and get that removed. This is still a good hood, so we're just gonna set it aside so uh, it doesn't get uh, damaged. Plus it'll make it out of the way, get it out of the way for uh, removing the engine. I think we're gonna switch to the GoPro. I'm gonna need Erica's help for a second. All right, guys, this is where we're gonna call it for today. We've got the hood off, that was easy. Um, got that fender off, that one was a little bit confusing, but not actually that difficult once I figured it out. And um, more importantly than anything, we actually got this thing here in the shop. So next time, I'll come in here and I'm going to start getting this prepped for uh, engine removal. Uh, we're gonna have to have that out of here. And speaking of getting this engine out of here, in the next video, I'm gonna tell you all about uh, the engine replacement that I found for this thing. I got a steal of a deal, and I think you're going to be just as excited about it as I am. 
I still am kind of shocked at the deal I got on that engine. But we'll talk about that in the next video. And maybe in the next video, in addition to working on getting this out, maybe we'll go through some parts. Nah, that might be the video after, not sure. But I want to show you a lot of the things that I've been buying. But first and foremost, we've got to get this engine out of here so that it can go off to the frame shop. So that's what we're going to do next time. So with all that being said, guys, this is where we're going to call it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're as excited about this build as I am. I'm so excited to get into tearing that motor out, get the frame fixed so that we can start putting this thing back together and bringing it back to its former glory. I'm excited. I hope you are too. If you are, go ahead and drop a like on this video, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't, and click the bell notification so you can be notified each time I upload a new video about this or one of the other builds. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.